Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's Top Tweaks video. Now this is my perfect jailbroken setup on iOS 13.3. And guess what guys? We are using an A13 device. Yes, this is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I have 50 tweaks running on this and I wanna show you guys exactly how I have my phone jailbroken and set up. Anyhow, let's get into today's video. All of the tweaks that we're going to talk about are located down below in this video's description on our Best Tech Info website. So you can go ahead and batch install all of the sources and then install the tweaks that you guys like uh, that you see in this video as we go along. Anyhow, if you guys have yet to jailbreak, we also have a tutorial located down below in the description as well. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get into today's video, talk about all of these tweaks and exactly how I have my phone set up. So let's go ahead and get started on the lock screen. First up, we have Jellyfish for that nice modern clock interface. Right below that, we have complications to bring Apple Watch style complications to iOS. You guys can customize that quite a bit. It's a super cool tweak. Now, yes, as you guys will notice, there are going to be paid tweaks in this video. There are quite a few free tweaks that I'm going to feature and talk about as well. But again, this is a perfect jailbroken setup not a free tweaks video. Anyhow, moving on, Axon right below that for my notification grouping. So I can go ahead and click on Twitter. Now I have all my Twitter notifications. And if I go back to Reddit, I have all my Reddit notifications. And the more apps that I have notifications for, the more they pop up. But it's a nice way to organize your notifications. Then at the very bottom, we have Quick LS. Now, as you guys can see, I have my flashlight toggle right here but I actually have a Cydia toggle, so I can jump right into Cydia directly from the lock screen. Anyhow, guys, that one's called Quick LS. Again, to recap, we have complications right here, Jellyfish, Axon, and then Quick LS. So let's go ahead and go back to the home screen. The next category I wanna talk about are some music tweaks, and this works for Apple Music too, but I'm gonna go ahead and use Spotify. Let me go ahead and just start playing something. If I pull it up right here, as you guys can see, this interface already looks way different. Basically what's happening with this tweak called Color Flow 5 is it's pulling the colors for the background and the user interface from the actual uh, album artwork. So if I go to the next song, as you guys can see, my entire user interface changes. Now the really cool thing, let's go ahead and use this album for example. Um, if I go to the lock screen, the colors actually transfer over there too. Now I have a couple tweaks going on here. I have Sylph to make uh, the music widget just a little bit smaller and more modern looking. I have next up two, so I can actually select which song I wanna play next. So let's say I like that choice. Go ahead and click next. As you guys can see, I have Mishuda Infinity. So that's a brand new tweak. Again, music visualizer uh, on the home screen, on the lock screen and actually in the music widget as well. But another place we have a music visualizer is actually in the status bar with status viz. So that's a pretty sweet, uh, brand new modern looking tweak. So on my home screen, I have home plus beta to change the layout of my icons. I have mine by a, a three by seven layout. So if I go right here, I can change the amount of rows, the amount of columns, I can change the vertical spacing. Uh, so it, right about there looks good. And then to apply my changes, I just swipe up, something like that. Now, as you guys can see, I have a super clean interface going on right now. One thing I wanted to show you guys is my icon labels actually fade away and that's with Shy Labels. That's just recently updated for iOS 13 and again on A13 devices. Now check this out on my page dots. Look at that awesome animation. Well, that's with awesome page dots. And again, my page dots also fade away too. That's with Shy Page Dots XS. So awesome tweaks right there to make the home screen look pretty sweet. Now, this tweak is one that I really like to show my friends to show them, or to really show off and uh, show them, I guess, what jailbreaking can do and kind of have some fun with jailbreaking. Well, Gravitation was just recently updated for iOS 13, and it works pretty well. I honestly, this is one of my go-tos. It's just so much fun. And right now, you just shake your device to enable it and disable it. 
So this one is a pretty sweet tweak. If I go ahead and open up Cydia, if you guys see, my home bar is present right there, but it actually fades away after a while. And this is with Auto Hide Home Bar X. I really like the subtlety. It adds the home bar, but then it fades away. Kind of just like shy labels and those other tweaks we have going on. Next on the home screen, this one's kind of minor, but as you can see, my Cydia icon or the last icon in my row, instead of it being left justified, it's actually centered. So a good example of this is if I go into home plus beta and uh, change my icon columns back to four, as you guys can see, the last row of my icons are actually centered and that's done with central. And the cool thing is this works in folders as well. As you guys can see, I also have a cylinder working perfectly fine to give these awesome animations going between pages. So probably one of my all time favorite tweaks is Gesto for multitasking. You have these awesome cards, you have your control center right here, and you can even clear all apps just like that. It's a super awesome multitasking tweak to do a bunch of stuff. Really like the look of it. Anyhow, let me go ahead and open up an application. It looks something like that. And again, if I go ahead and fill out the cards a little bit, they stack really nicely. Now, if you guys notice there, my animations are super fast, entering and exiting apps, swiping between pages, opening up folders and closing them. This is all done with Animations Be Fast Plus. So I'm sure everyone was waiting for me to demo this tweak. It is called Prism, and basically it replaces the iOS control center, and it gives it a more modern, even iOS 14-esque feel. And uh, it's pretty sweet, it still is in beta, so I'll show you guys an alternative to this in just a second. Well, another tweak you guys probably already know of is called Mobile Goose. And this one's pretty sweet, uh, just adds this little guy, he kind of runs around, pulls up some gifts for you. But then we have Mobile Goose module, so you can actually toggle him on and off. So there's one of those gifts that he pulls up and you actually have to tap it away. So he can get kind of annoying, so you can just toggle him off or show him off to your friends just like that. And uh, the really cool thing is you can add mods to this tweak. So if I go down and uh, select Mobile Goose, one right above that, uh, go into mods, you can give him a name tag. So go ahead and pull this guy back up. See, now he has a name tag, ICU ID. So he'll just run around with that right below him. Anyhow, cool little tweaks there, nothing too crazy. Well, if Prism was just a little bit too buggy as it's still in beta, not to fear, we have some classic control center tweaks. We have Better CCXI to give you this awesome connectivity platter as well as music platter. Uh, right below this, we have power modules so you can quickly respring and enter safe mode, perform a few other actions. We have rounded CC to basically give a rounded look to all of your control center toggles right there. We have Magma Evo to set custom colors for these uh, sliders and buttons. Uh, super cool tweaks. Lastly, almost forgot, we have Sugarcane to give you the actual percentages of your volume and your brightness right there. A couple ways to organize apps, we have Zenth to actually hide applications or group them underneath other applications, so I have all my social media together. And another sweet one is called Manila. You can actually open up other applications in your folder just by holding and pressing on that folder. Another sweet one is called Screenshot Actions. If I go ahead and take a screenshot and hold on the screenshot, we get this awesome little menu right there. We can just go ahead and copy and delete. And now it's copied to our clipboard. We also have a bunch of other options. Anyhow guys, that one's Screenshot Actions. So I know we have battery percentage X and battery percent 12, but now we have yet another one called Digital Battery 13. Does the exact same thing, but it's way less buggy. And on the other side of my status bar, we have this tweak called Runaway. Right below your time actually shows your connection speed or your transfer speed. Um, 
And I'm not sure why mine's at zero right now, but it does actually work when you're downloading an app. You can see how good your internet connection is. So moving on to some jailbreak utility tweaks, we have safe shutdown. Essentially, you can perform some quick actions in the actual physical application, but essentially what this tweak does is when your battery gets really low, say about 5%, it'll actually basically kind of fake shut down your device. Your screen will go blank and you can't actually press the power or home button to wake your device. It will just show a black screen and it will remain that way until you plug your device in. Now the cool part about this is that last 5% of battery will last a couple of hours. And when you plug your device in, your device is still in its jailbroken state. So you don't actually have to re-enable the jailbreak. Anyhow, that one's called safe shutdown. If you guys want your YouTube videos to remain playing in the background, Circube is the tweak for you. As you guys can see, it's still playing. And uh, shout out to MBKHD on the new studio. So if I go into the messages application, we have BioProtect XS, and essentially this uses Face ID to lock applications, and uh, when your face is recognized, then it will open up. Right here we have iMessage gradients. You can set custom gradient colors for your messages. Uh, send delay is also working, so you have a couple seconds to cancel sending the text message. And down at the very bottom, we have Barmoji 13. Yes, Barmoji has been updated for iOS 13 on A13 devices. And the cool thing about the keyboard here is, as you guys can see, I'm in light mode, or say if I go into Cydia that doesn't actually have a dark mode and I go ahead and pull up the keyboard, there's still the dark keyboard, and this is done with dark keys. Now, last keyboard tweak that I can think of is when I'm actually pressing the keyboard now, I have haptic feedback, and that's done with real keys, and this tweak is entirely free. Super awesome tweak right there to add some haptic feedback. And while we're talking about haptic feedback, we have this tweak called Evolve Vibes. You can actually change the step, like how many clicks it takes to turn up and down the volume, but there's also haptic feedback with every press. And same, we have Mute Vibes. You can also change the haptic feedback uh, sensitivity when you mute and unmute your device. So didn't really know where to fit this one in, but Small Surrey still works awesome. Still has the UI glitch, but it's much better than the full screen Surrey interface. I still love this one. I'm gonna include it in quite a few videos so people can see it. Adaptive dark mode, if I enter say do not disturb, uh, dark mode is automatically toggled on. Same if I turn my brightness down super low, dark mode's on, and when I turn it back up, then I'm in light mode. Anyhow, that one's called Adaptive Dark Mode. Super awesome tweak, and uh, you can customize it a ton. So a really cool one is called Sequilla Pro. If you guys have AirPods Pro, there's a bunch of things you can customize here. My favorite part about this tweak, however, is when you guys are listening to music, you can have noise cancellation enabled, and when you pause your music, it can automatically turn on transparency mode when your music's paused. So super cool tweak, but again, you can customize what double tapping and triple tapping your AirPods do as well. Kind of like the original tweak, but now for the AirPods. Pro. If you guys like OLED notifications, my favorite is dots. When you have a new notification, it shows this little dot right here. And as you guys can see from that, I have a new Twitter notification. So again, that one's called dots. Super cool tweak. Uh, furthermore, I use Snowboard for my icon theming, and uh, right now, look how many tweaks I have installed, guys. This is just nuts, honestly. If I go to Snowboard, go to Select Theme, I'm using Goji. And the really cool thing about this theme is uh, it also has a dark mode theme, so all of the icons also have a dark alternative appearance. I really like this theme a lot, guys. Let me know what you think of it down below. And then, of course, in the background, we have Zen HTML to enable widgets, and this widget right here that has this interesting appearance uh, is called Fluid Widget. So I've talked about that before in a lot of my videos, but I still like the look of it. It's pretty sweet. Anyhow, very lastly in this video, one tweak that I wanted to mention is called Repo Finder. If you guys are looking for new repos or just new sources to add to Cydia to find more tweaks, well, Repo Finder is the tweak for you to get that information from. Has all of the repos that could possibly be out there. Um, it's a pretty sweet resource to have 
uh, when you guys are new to jailbreaking. Anyway, that one's called Repo Finder. So as a bonus tweak, guys, we have dark papers. So look at how many awesome wallpapers there are that have both a light mode and a dark mode variant. You have Catalina wallpapers. I know there's Mojave somewhere down here, right here. Probably my favorite is the Stranger Things one. If I go ahead and set both, check this out. When I go to my wallpaper, if I go ahead and enable dark mode, now it's an entirely different wallpaper and it does it both on the lock screen and the control center. So this works super well with automatic dark mode. I love how this setup looks and there's so many wallpapers to choose from. Let me know which one is your guys' favorite. I haven't even explored all of these, but all of these wallpapers, at least most of them, look pretty sweet in both light and dark mode. Let's go ahead and finish off with a Catalina wallpaper. So it's setting the dark wallpaper right here. And check this out. When I enable light mode, now I have the daytime Catalina wallpaper. Anyhow, guys, that finishes off this Top Tweaks video. There was actually 51 tweaks in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, stay tuned for more awesome content just like this. Definitely hit that subscribe button before you go. Again, all of the tweaks and all of the sources are located down below in our Best Tech Info article. Thank you again, guys, so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.